I was just filled with rage. I couldn't handle hearing this. And that's when I realized that this was that kind of commission. What did I expect anyway? I got a call from him. Then I said, oh, hello. Hello, I'm Royal Master O'Keeley. I do it because you always call me Royal Master. <laughs> hello, I'm Crown Master O'Keeley. Sometimes I say it like this. I'm O'Keeley, who went from an ordinary housewife to a global leader. This year marks the 38th anniversary of my marriage. Not since I got married. I worked briefly as a kindergarten teacher at the start of my marriage. But since getting married, I've been a full-time housewife, supporting my husband and taking care of my family. MLMs? Of course I don't. I didn't have any business experience at all. Ah, uh, I've gotten $300,000 in cash promotions alone. And now, I have a $5,000 company card. And then, the price of a car. So, I got almost $430,000. Isn't $430,000 usually the price of a house? So I made in a month how much it costs to buy a house. How's that? Eight people live at my house. The eight people are me and my husband, my son, and his wife and four grandchildren. Actually, we've lived this way up to now without much trouble. But because COVID-19 has forced us to be at home for long periods, this kind of living arrangement is beyond just suffocating. So I thought that I really had to get a house and move out. When I told my husband that we had to get a house quickly, it just so happened that a house nearby became available. I went there in the middle of the night. When I went there, the number was 1414. I said right away, let's just buy this house. I didn't even look inside and just signed the contract for it. Later, when I went inside, I loved it so much, so I bought it. But without money in my bank account, how could I have even dreamt of it? How could I afford to live such a life? I'm truly grateful to Adami. It's money that comes in every month. No, actually, it's every week. Since I'm getting paid every week, I'm actually making tens of thousands of dollars a month. I'd say that um, more than being happy, I feel proud. And can this really be passed down for three generations? You could doubt whether this is true, but now that I'm here, I've got no doubts. You really can pass it down. The truth is, hmm, now that I've achieved Crown Master, I'm at the point right before Imperial Master, right? That's how much I've matured. Actually, I'm keeping each and every one of my partners in mind. This partner is up to this point, that partner is up to that point, and so on. How are they supposed to follow along? When I met with partners one at a time, even if I was a bit careless in the past, some partners were more intense and more detailed. So, because of every single partner like this who followed me, I've come this far. My hope is that every single partner can follow my footsteps without being left behind. Because I became a crown master and succeeded, I resolved not to quit, but to work even harder. So, I set my standard to becoming someone who doesn't lose her beginner's mind. So, I became a crown master, right? Now that I've achieved crown master, I have to achieve imperial master. 
I'm going to get there soon. To do that, I have to run hard with my partners, right? We're going full speed ahead. I dream of traveling around the world, starting from South America. I'm going to start with Bolivia. I want to go mainly to countries where Atomy has opened. It's not going to be a simple trip. I'm going to do business while I travel. So I can meet my Atomy business partners and have meetings with them. And do some sightseeing. So if I travel and work at the same time, it's a different feeling from just traveling. And personally, I want to have some freedom because I have this dream of traveling the world. So when COVID-19 settles down, I want to go with my husband on a trip around the world, making plans one by one. We plan to travel to different countries one by one. It's probably when I was on my way to Star Master and Royal Master. That's when I realized, ah, this is how to do business. This is a huge business. That was when I became sure that I could see it to the end. My sponsor told me that one day after a meeting and on her way to a seminar, that she became a diamond master within two days. It had only been two days. Gosh, this is possible. But at that time, I wasn't even a sales master. I wondered how she could become a diamond master within two days. But one day, I saw her walking up the stairs. I thought to myself, so it's possible for her? She became a diamond master within two days? I should get to her level. That became a goal. Then one day, I became a diamond master within two days. And that sponsor became a crown master. She became my goal. And I kept following her. And I did get there. That's what really happened for me. Look at me. Look at Oki Lee. I became a crown master, right? When I was like you, I had a dream of getting here. I made it. What I'm saying is, with hard work, I made it. There's no reason you can't make it. So you should work as hard as much as I have and get to this place as fast as possible. Crown master Oki Lee will get into a time machine and go back to the Oki Lee of the past. When I go back to the old Oki Lee, this might make me cry. Oki Lee, you did really great. I'm tearing up. You really did great. Even though you were underqualified. You didn't know what Atomy or Vision was all about. You didn't even know what network marketing was. Even when no one asked you about anything. How did you go on your own and share these products? You were so happy to share this one Korean product in Japan. You've come to do this huge work today. But looking back once more, you got surgery on this arm. The day after you got the surgery, you went to Japan. Gosh, I could see how you looked then. Your hand and face were swollen after the surgery, but you still went with your entire body swollen. You took a pill to hide it and slogged through two weeks without telling anyone. After going around and then sleeping in that cold room, you collapsed back in Korea. But you didn't get discouraged. And you resolved to work hard. You really worked hard then, Oki. You really worked so hard. 
Looking back even now, it's almost not enough just to praise the past o k i I really do want to praise you and say you did really well. I embrace you with a truly warm heart. You really did great. o k i you did great. I didn't think about myself at all. It was really like that when I worked. Because no one was telling me to do this work, all of me went into atomy. Atomy was my life from morning to night. I actually couldn't sleep at some point. During the day, I talked to my partners in Japan. Over time, I got connected to the U.S., I barely slept for maybe two to three hours, but I didn't even feel tired because I had a goal, which was to work. I think I lived that way for two years. Then everything I did for two years was the setup. The chairman says you have to be crazy to reach. I didn't know what he meant, but looking back, I really was crazy. So in my view, Adamy really isn't about some skill or lecture. If you really concentrate and go crazy for it, you make it. And it's not all up to you. In the end, you need great partners. Even though I went to Japan, it wasn't all me. Since everyone is so smart, they can be lecturers and do the work. All I did was sponsor, support, and enable my partner's activities. They all ended up becoming lecturers. There's quite a lot in my downline. What I did to help them get there was to support and applaud them. All you have to do is encourage your partners to work hard. I've been honest with you. If I were to start a t o m y now, I think I'd go fast and do it even better. Do you know why? When I first started a t o m y I looked up to contractor number four, Imperial Master Sung Il Kim. So very much. It was hard to even look him in the eye. But now I'm at the point where I can soon meet him at the compensation ceiling. So I know that this is how it works out. If I were to start now, I feel like I do it better and faster. It's probably different for everyone. In my case, when I went from star master to royal master, I think I matured a lot. And it was my turning point. That was my turning point. That's when I could see my business very clearly. And after maturing, I knew how to manage my partners. Having done everything, I figured out how to manage my partners, how to support them, and how to help in what way. All of my consultations changed accordingly. I've seen it all. So the chairman talked about seeing everything under the sun and how this is a commission for dealing with all of it. I wondered what he meant, but it turned out it really was that kind of commission. It really is that kind of commission. I was doing work that completely destroyed my pride. But the truth is that through it all, it allowed me to reflect on myself. This is something the chairman says, right? If you succeed at Atomy, it means your personality has also succeeded. It's true what he said about how we could become truly mature. It really turned out to be true. When I went through these things at first, I got stepped on so much that my temper couldn't handle this kind of treatment. I was just filled with rage for a few days. Once my rage settled down two to three days later, I realized that this was to be expected. I could handle hearing this, and I could change as a result. What did I expect anyway? And that's when I realized that this was that kind of commission. Adamy's commission really doesn't come for free. That's when it hit me. 
This is a really simple business. It's a simple business, but it's also an incredibly huge one. It's a simple and easy business, but it's also a very difficult one. It's a very difficult business. Because it's about human relationships. We're all different here, right? One person matching another, it's not easy. My husband and I argue so many times in a single day. How can I match another person? But I do. Looking back at myself, I realize that I've become a master of myself. You have to shape up and reflect on yourself. In the past, I thought a lot about who I was. Who am I? What am I like? I thought a lot about who I was. And yet, in this situation, I was completely surprised. I thought I looked noble and elegant when I talked. When I looked honestly at myself, I realized I was a mess. You get to realize those kinds of things about yourself. Anyway, you succeed at Atomy Business yourself. No one does it for you. What I mean is that to manage all of these different types of partners, you can't make it unless you have the personality to do so. When I get stressed out, I don't hold it in. I let it go. How I let it go is to put on music. I just blast it out. There are people who are skilled and can speak well, but are frustrating. Those kinds of people have good personalities and educations. And they do well if they just went out and did this business. But it's their darned pride. It's because of our pride that we can't make it work. They can't see it because of all their education. But sometimes I want to meddle with these types. I have a strong desire to break the walls to their hearts and just pull them out. Strangely, I can see this very well. I have a lot of members and talk a lot with them. I personally like listening to their stories. I listen to all of them and what happens is that I get a feeling from one of them. Then I call that person directly. I question them in detail. We have a conversation as if I'm writing their biography, and I look at their handwriting. I get a clear sense of their personality once I talk to them and look at their handwriting. Then I get firmly attached. I ask, hey, do you want to try Atomy? How about a real go? I skillfully get under their skin, and then I have to take responsibility, right? If they listen to me, then I have to take responsibility. Then that person definitely succeeds with me. When I work with my partners, I make them into sales masters. Sales master is the start, right? Then you go to diamond master, right? Now, when I give partners a task, those who keep their promises, and finish their task no matter what. Those are the ones I'm sure about. I don't miss people like that. Oki Lee became a royal master. Everyone. Have you been a royal master for oh, too long? Oh, that's right. I do it because you always call me royal master. Oki Lee, who has been through highs and lows with all of you, has become a crown master. I'm always grateful. I'm here today after becoming a crown master. Everyone, hurry up and come. It's great. Come quick, because being a crown master feels great. <laughs> <laughs>